Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Drink the Yuletide gay. Next year all our troubles will be miles away. Hi and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas on the comfy red couch. My name is Tracy. Today I am coming to you from the office and I thought I would open my advents as well as show you my latest finished objects. So let's start off with my bird and blend tea advent and I've just been pushing the doors back in when I finish them. Just need to find number 20 on here. Here it is under the word calendar and Let's see what tea I have in store for me today. I've been trying not to peek at the Bird and Blend emails that come every day, so I wait until I have opened my advent and then I open my emails, but that has been a bit of a challenge. Feels like today might be a bit of a tea bag, just a bit of a tea bag. So inside there is a tea bag today. Pull that out. I'm always really happy when matcha happens into the tea advent. So today, you get to peek before I do. It is New House Blend. So the Burden Blend New House Blend is the tea of the day. And my matcha advent, find number 20 on here. And number 20 is right here. Let's pop this open. My favorite matches. Sometimes they come in a little tube, which is great because it's a perfect serving size, but I do like the little metal ones because it makes me feel like I'm getting a little bit more bang for my buck. And today is a pouch, not a, a metal tube. And today is salted caramel. So yesterday when I came home, I had one of these and I had actually used the one that had been earlier in the month in my tea advent calendar so another salted caramel I do have a large container of this matcha as well I do like it and I'd added a little bit of vanilla to yesterday's I often come home at the end of the day and make myself a cup of matcha and I haven't done that yet so that will be this afternoon's task in a little bit after I take some photographs and Yes, very, very exciting. So, matcha, new house blend, there are my teas. And we are now at my Nora George Yarns Advent. My So Sweet, Val so Sweet Violet Advent, try say that three times fast. I finished mine on the 12th, so it was a 12 day advent. I could have skipped every other day, but that's just too much math and too much patience for me. So what I ended up doing was opening my So Sweet Violet from one to 12. Also, I figured if I saw any spoilers, I wouldn't have any disappointments. So this is my Nora George. There are 24 minis plus one large one, and I am down to my last level of minis. That was day 24. I'm going to pick that back up and put that back in and let's open day 20. I am loving the last two colors. They're into the pinks now. The uh, two days ago was a pink with a bit of yellow speckles and really pretty. Yesterday was almost like a salmon color. Very, very beautiful. Today, let's see what happens as we think about knitting up the Gust of Snow Wrap with these. Ooh, very, very pretty. Unfortunately, the light is not fantastic in my office, but and I'm sitting beside these. I can quickly show you the last two days. So two days ago was this beautiful speckly one there's a little bit of yellow in there and there's definitely pink yesterday's was this gorgeous salmon and today we're going into a bit more specklies with 
maybe a little bit more red. It almost reminds me of a candy cane, so perfect for winter. And I'll put that back in order for knitting up on my dust of snow wrap. I did, I'm dropping everything off to the side. I did not do any work on my dust of snow wrap last night because I was busy working on this hat. And this is the How Quiet hat. I finished it today and I've just steamed it so it's a little bit damp and I want to go outside while it's still light and take a few photographs. And this is for a co-worker of mine. It's really big on me but it fits him really nicely. I had him try it on today and it fits him really really well. So he doesn't want a pom-pom on it and I can't understand why not. I think a pink pom-pom would be absolutely amazing. Anyway, tomorrow I will take this to him and he'll have it for our break and he's I think, going to go skiing in Mount Tremblant and he's also going to be going to Manhattan. So if you see someone walking around Manhattan with this lichen and lace, beautiful, I think it's a teal, something, um, deep teal, something like that is the name. If you see someone walking around Manhattan with the How Quiet in lichen and lace teal, maybe I knit it. So, this is now off the needles. I promised him I'd make him a hat um, a little, maybe about a month or a month and a half ago. And I'm happy to have that off the needles. I still have to finish the pair of socks for my other co-worker that uh, I'm giving him for his hip replacement. He is apparently talking about getting the second hip done. So, get that second sock done for him as well. And then it's going to be selfish knitting for me. My dust of snow wrap. I am hoping to work on some sweaters over the break as well, and I definitely, on Christmas Eve, want to cast on my sky mouth. Christmas Eve, it's the 20th, only four days away. Vlogmas is almost done. Wow. Anyway, I am going to go take some photographs while there is still a tiny bit of light outside, not much, and I will see you tomorrow. I hope that you have had a fantastic December 20th, and I will see you tomorrow on the 21st, which is the shortest daylight day of the year. But after that, the days get longer. Have a great day, evening, whatever time it is. Bye. Through the years, we all will be together. If the fates allow, hang a shining star upon the highest bough, and have yourself a merry little Christmas.